we're, we're streaming with Phantasmagoria 2. We had a, a lot of fun uh, streaming the last time, but you know what's funny? The original Phantasmagoria stream I did uh, only lasted two streams, so this game is clearly longer, but this game is also lacking one of those like hint skulls that was from the original, so you know, I get stuck a lot more, but uh, yeah, you know what. Anyway, uh, so Phantasmagoria 2. I hope that I don't uh, get too stuck tonight. Because I do want to make some progress, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, any way you want it. So, seriously, it's weird. I, that song pops in my head constantly, you know? All right, uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Those streams are like eight hours long. Well, yeah, but were they? Were they really? Okay. Well, 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 well. All right, let me get there. By the way, I don't know if uh, the Steam... Uh, I have the new Steam uh, overlay or whatever it's called. And I entered into a beta. But is everybody using the new Steam overlay now? For reference, this is what it looks like. And I don't know if it's like... Uh, Steam... Yeah, okay, new. Everybody. Okay, so I opted in really early with it. And uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Because honestly, all this is irrelevant. For me, though, all my games that I care about is on the side like this. Right? And for some reason, Half-Life's been running for, like, five days. It's not been open, but all right. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Man, I have so many fucking games on Steam. I'll never play them either, man. All right, but anyway. Uh, let's get this on the screen. Why the fuck am I singing this? It was so funny. Now that we have McDonald's in town, I, I, uh... <laughs> it was like three days of eating Big Macs, and then I'm like, this is fucking disgusting. <laughs> um, like, I, I said for years, like, oh, man, wouldn't it be great if I had McDonald's in town? Oh, man, I can get a Big Mac, and I can get some cheeseburgers. And then when you have that, like, ability, you're like, Bleh. dude, I'd rather eat, like, microwaved macaronis, man. <laughs> you know? Anyway. Alright, let me get it on screen for you. Guys, I still have this, like, really dumb, dumb red alert thing on screen. Pew, pew, pew! Alright. Fantasmagoria! Okay, I love it. I love the 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 uh, title of this game, Puzzle of the Flesh. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just gonna do this. All right, let us go and play some Phantasmagoria Two. Idiot is lost. Protected, but okay. Oh, hey, this is where we last left off. So, um, um, what's his name? Curtis, Travis, um, uh, whatever. Um, I might have a demon in my head or whatever because I have this like I think there's like, like a like a dark, dark, uh, Travis touchdown <laughs> or whatever. Curtis, whatever his name is, Beavis. Um, you know, because uh, one of my co-workers was killed. I'm just doing a little recap here. And uh, one of my co-workers at work got killed in a horrible way. And uh, they can't find who it is. And it's, like, suggesting it was me. But it wasn't me. But there might be an evil version of me roaming around. But whatever. Uh, not sure what we're going to do now. We were here last time. Okay, yeah. Guaranteed monkey free. Okay. Is there anything here I haven't seen yet? I can't go here yet, can I? No, this is the restaurant. This is what the restaurant looks like. AVGN looking ass. <laughs>
Let me let me just check something real quick. If I go home again. These dissonant chords, man. Okay. Go home and use the phone? I think we did that last stream, didn't we? This game reminds me of Harvester. Really? Good, good, good. Lock the door, dumbass. Oh, dude. I just have a little story for you. I don't know if I told you guys the story, but... I think I did, but I can't remember because I think I have Alzheimer's at this point. But uh, regardless... Once I was done with the last signal simulation, but like the, the stream before, uh, I think it was the spooky, spooky face cam version of that stream. When I went to bed, yeah, well, I didn't go to bed. I was in my sofa in my living room, and I was watching a Simple Flips video. That, I mean, th this this story has a point to it. Don't worry. I was watching a Simple Flips video, and as I'm ready to like drift off to sleep in my sofa, my door opens and there's a drunk dude standing in my hallway saying this isn't right and I say I was so shocked that I'm like no 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 it isn't bye um I did tell you a story yeah but ever since then I I'm like dude lock your fucking doors <laughs> lock your fucking doors I felt I felt like it was like it felt so weird because I'm like, this is, this is, this is, it's like a, you know, intrusion of privacy, you know. The worst thing though is that wasn't like my neighbor. It was like a random dude who had walked to the entirely wrong, like, apartment complex. <laughs> so. <laughs> the true signal simulator. But I really can't get the phone here though, so I don't know. I don't know what is going on. Maybe I gotta get some tool on it. <laughs> yeah, take a take a screwdriver and just jam it in. Grab the wallet. Mm -hmm. I like that the game titles presented to you like that. Single sim simulator stream tomorrow? No, no. I I I I'm not gonna stream single simulator. Maybe until like 2020. Because, uh, you know. Hmm, well, if I can't do that. Oh, wait, there's the. It's too, too, it's too spooky. I'm gonna check on my raft or something. How clueless at this point. Uh. See, this game, you know what I love about the original Phantasmagoria? It was the fact that it had a hint skeleton saying, Go here, you dumb fuck. This game lacks that. Not that it's a detriment to the quality of the game, you know. But it, sometimes it's just so like, what the fuck do I do, you know? Maybe it's like casual baby mode. I wouldn't have survived any of those Sierra games back in the day. You know, all those really obscure and out, outlandish solutions, you know. But uh, I go here, you dumb fuck. Um, I don't know what to do. Um... Suggestions, please. Hmm. I used the telephone already, but uh, maybe I can do something here. How do I look at things again? I I, I keep forgetting. Nope. 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 Did I do it? Oh. Oh yeah, that was like a. I think I've seen this already though, but whatever. Yeah, it was like some some therapist or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Ricky Harburg's office. How may I help you? Hi, uh, my name's Curtis Craig, and I was referred to by Dr. Harburg by. <laughs> I don't know why I said Travis. Um, somebody, and I was uh, wondering if I could make an appointment. Certainly. Mm, let me see. You're in luck, Mr. Craig. We have a cancellation today at five thirty. Okay, I guess. Yeah, we saw this last Wonderful. time, but whatever. See Good catch soon, up. Mr. Craig. Bye bye now. Travis's friend. Oh, that's what. Oh, that, 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 that. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, we had some appointment stuff. Am I done here, though, now? Or. 
Because I remember that, that one girl said like, Hey, meet me at this one place or something like that. What am I thinking? It's not time for my appointment. Okay, so when is it time? <laughs> I missed my point with Dr. Harburg. I better wait on that. Okay, so, so what do I do? Take a nap? Um, tomorrow, I, I guess go take a nap. Uh, <laughs> that won't be either. Okay, so we'll, pfft, head on over here. Uh, someone said I should go to the boss's office. We can take care. Alright, boss's office, huh? Do I remember this shit? Nope, that's not it. Here we go. My boss... What was my... where my boss lived? Nobody's here right now, but... Wait, right, hang on. Hmm. Go back to work and steal stuff from your boss's desk. Really? Let me explore a little bit more before that. Anything else I can take? No. Okay. Why does the office look like a bathroom? <laughs> oh. She's still here? She's still here? No, 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 no. You're supposed to... No. What the fuck are you doing? No, go back. Go back. <laughs> Is there anything I can take here? Well, she's gonna be here all day, so I don't know if I can do this. Nothing I can do here either. Oh, shit. Nope. So, if she's currently at the crime scene and she's still investigating, what do I do? Well, you know what I could do, actually? Hang what? on. But that was important, and I just skipped it. Oh! Um. <laughs> uh. Ah! <laughs> okay, well. Use the phone call your boss. This place is creepy. I don't know what's behind this glass door, but, uh, you know. Okay. One of these doors lead to... Like my boss's place. Hang on. Uh, and it's like, if I turn around here... I just know those NES-like games where you have to um, go through um, an 8-bit dungeon maze. And it's the most disorienting thing, man. <laughs> Get Steve Austin to break the glass. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. Uh, so we gotta go here. Nothing I can do here either. Okay. And this, this just kicks me out of here. Which is... Kind of what I want anyway, but... Uh, right. No, that's not the one. Okay, so if that goes here, then I should be going here, but... Uh, I guess... I guess there was some, something that was important there that I totally accidentally skipped. But I guess I, could get, I can't get into this, this, this place, so, you know... And there's nothing here either. Um, well, I'll tell you what, guys. Tell you what. To not waste too much time here... Um, I can't do this yet. Uh, if you know the solution, what to do next, I'm all for it. <laughs> One cutscene, no continues. You know what my favorite AVGN moment is? Well, there's so many, but it, it's the one with the Batman review, and he's playing, uh, uh, he's playing Batman and Robin, and it's like the AVGN gets so angry, he's like clipping the microphone volume. <laughs> Do <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It's just one of my favorite moments. What were they thinking? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, and I can't go here. Can I? No, this is this is that place. Um, I'm cl totally clueless. Um... Push the fucking up button is to jump. It's fucking fucked up. Yeah, th there we go. Yeah, pressing up the jump is fucked. Fuck up. Yeah, I love that thing. I love that episode. I was actually binging AVGN last night. It's like for four hours. Anyway, uh, I cannot figure out what to. I can't go here. I've been here. 
It's gotta be something really weird and obscure, and I'm sorry for getting stuck here, but I really have no idea what to do. Use a phone on the available office, call the boss. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay, gotcha. You know what I'd read with this game? That there's an internal clock in the game, like, counting down the minutes. And the longer I play for, it's gonna, like, shit out a bad ending for me or something like that. Okay. You took too long. It's like, like a creepy thing in video games when, when games are like you. You just take too long and you get a shitty ending for it. Alright. What was my boss's number? Uh... I know there was something scribbled on the notepad. Or whatever it was. Is, is this my office? I totally forgot. 666 8055. Well, thank you. Sorry, you can't. Okay. Above the telephone. Oh, gotcha. Well, is that the one? But I can't really see that. That's the one. And my boss was... <sighs> I don't forget the name of these guys. But I know that I am Curtis. Trevor's my friend. Uh, is Therese my girlfriend? Or is, is Jocelyn? 6996. Uh, nice. Alright, let's do this. Hi, Mr. Warner, this is Tom. Uh, we need you in the fourth floor conference room right away. <laughs> uh huh. I'm putting on a voice. So now I can get into the, uh, the boss's office, I suppose. Uh, but can I directly go there, or do I need to go from the other door? Oh, new one. This place was kind of creepy. The blood, the blood. <laughs> a little little out there but uh, I think I read these last time actually I like the score in Phantasmagoria too here it's it's uh, it's ambient and it's it's creepy it's pretty good remember last time when I clicked on this it did something and I missed it totally all right let's see here uh, not this one Click on this one already. Yes, I have. All right. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Yeah, well. <laughs> seize this, Warner. Uh. Got, got him. I, I guess. On a last. You screwdriver on drawer? Ooh. No. Okay, well. Hmm, something with the computer, but. Uh, I can't really interact with this. Gentlemen, good news! Our external sources tell us that the Wintook is indeed the only company currently researching inter interdimensionality and its potential for earning profit. I think I cracked a joke last time about this. these guys being fucking. Uh, the UAC. <laughs> it's Black Mace or whatever, like, blanket facility. You know. No! Stop! Stop! <laughs> it's not shutting off! No! Anyway, uh, the threshold project is still ramping up. It's for almost 30 years on hiatus, but we expect to be fully online soon. Oh, by the way, I'll look how it's spelled. Online. The 90s. 
test have proved that the threshold equipment is still running properly, although some upgrades of the flux controls were necessary. We have yet to achieve the synthesis of... <gasps> no! <laughs> Seriously, years of playing Half-Life has... Like, I, I do a pretty mean scientist. No! That! <laughs> it's like... It's exact! <laughs> I'm just a soundboard at this point. No! Okay. Uh, what else haven't I seen here? They want me to interact with the computer somehow, but I don't know if I can do anything here. Alright. So obviously something I gotta do. Something I gotta do here. Hmm. Is there any angle I missed? If you're so good, do Gordon's voice. Alright. Fine. But this is the only time I'll do it. Okay? Fine. Alright. Let's kill those combine motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get them. It's time to live out my other life. My half life. Where does Kunga get that dawn in the sickness? As Kunga get that dawn in the sickness? In a world. Okay, um. Can I do anything here? I don't think I can, no. One man. One mission. Oh, hang on, I can fucking open it. What? It's open now? What? What? I, I fucking hovered above that earlier, but... What the fuck? Okay. Did you not see the me hover above that? Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. <gasps> well... Just what would you be doing in my office when I'm not here, Kurt? Doing voices. I, I was just, um... Let's say we cut the crap. You've been poking around in places you don't belong. Don't make the same mistakes your father made, boy. I would hate to have to lose you. Sorry, Mr. Warner. He is sexy. <laughs> Anyone got like weird sexual tension from that? Like maybe the internet has fucked me up, but I fully expect them to just start mashing like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's the fucking poor music is playing <laughs> Okay Okay, well we got that now we have a key though we should, we should save, we should save real quick. Uh, here we go. There we go. I only have one save, by the way. Go into the storage room and look behind a box. There's a tiny door. Ooh, I know that door. I, I was, I was getting lost there constantly in the other stream. You mean this door? The, the John Malkovich door? Malkovich, Malkovich. Okay. Don't mean to spoil stuff, but there is titties in the game. Yeah, we saw them last stream. <laughs> I, I like I like that everybody's just like watching this like yeah, it's just a little little comfy, a little point and click game, and then suddenly I say Teed. and everybody's like <laughs> like everybody starts like jumping up and down like. <laughs> Awooga! You know. Alert! Alert! Pew! 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 Alright, let's open this up. Humana, humana, humana. <laughs> and in I go.
Uh oh, creepy. The Forbidden Room. <laughs> what AVGN season is this? Shh. Okay. What were they thinking? Okay. Oh yeah? Girl, on my wits in the skirt On my wits in the skirt On my dead on my regular Fuck it, Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme what the fuck's going on? I literally could not understand what the voice was saying. It's like... Yeah, that was like a disturbed music video. That was really upsetting to watch. Dude, dude, I hate when games don't have like automatic subtitles because whenever, whenever the, whenever there's like a monster voice and it's like, and everybody's like, everybody knows these lines and like, yeah, he was right, Joel. I'm like, I didn't understand it. Well, I, I'm just guessing that the demon in my head is like telling me like, you know, bad things. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Just like Bane in the Dark Knight didn't understand shit what he said. I did understand Bane in the movies because uh, there were subtitles in the in the movie theater. <laughs> And also because I'm fluent in Deckard Kane. Anyway, um I I, I have something contra controversial to say. Some real shit opinions here, but I don't think the the the, Christo, the Christopher Nolan movies were they were good movies, but they didn't really feel like Batman movies. Um, for me, they didn't feel like comic book movies. They was just kind of like action movies. Like Batman on screen didn't feel like Batman. He just felt like guy in suit, you know, doing this voice. That's why I like. Uh, uh, Tim Burton Batman. Tim Burton Batman isn't perfect, but, but uh, you know, I, honestly, the best ba Batman ever, in my opinion, that's on screen is the Batman uh, animated series plus Batman Beyond. Okay, can I can I now do this? Okay, well, now that we've done that, yeah, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, Unlimited? No, the original, I don't, I don't know, you know. You guys ever seen the Justice League when, like, they, they, they fight a dude who's like a master of sleep, and Batman, like, punches out, out his Batmobile window and goes to buy coffee? It's hysterical. <laughs> I'll go back to the restaurant now, I don't know. Uh, no, nothing, okay. Damn it! Damn it, I, I thought I was so close now, and then now we're all back here now. Well. Maybe can you. Can I do something with the box here, or. Okay, um. Hmm. Well, if I go back here, that won't really do anything. Maybe I can. Maybe she's done with the 
clean up now? I mean, that's that's really bizarre. No, okay. I think you just go home at this point. All right. <laughs> this fucking piano. Sounds like me on a Fisher Price keyboard. Okay. Let me look at it. Sounded like Ocarina of Time there with the uh, the cord. <laughs> Threshold. Okay. What? Huh? I, I don't, don't understand it. That's bizarre. The tray's bolted in. Well, that was, that was a stuff. <laughs> that was that was stuff. Boob. Okay. Well, I have the screwdriver. I guess I can pry it open. Jesus, that that gives me anxiety to look at because I have so many bad experiences That's not with work. With a screwdriver and doing stuff, and it's just like it is. You know what I'm talking about? Listen, I, I'm not trying to convey something uh, through words rather than a noise. Oh, 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 ooh! I'm not talking about a stabbing. I'm talking about that scraping across the uh, your hand, like ooh, ow, 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 but not an impalement, just like that. Whoop! You know. E. Okay, so we can't do that. Try that. I need something else. Uh, why is the cursor a W in this game? Because that's the uh, logo of the uh, the company I work for, apparently. What's that? Hmm. Let's open up again. Hmm. I bet there's some really weird solution to this. Like you gotta use <laughs> that's that Ocarina time cord again. Mm. The key? I don't know sure how a key is gonna fit when it's already like there, man. Uh, I guess I need like a wrench or something. Maybe I have something around the house. Hmm. Uh. Nope. Guys, uh, you know what's something funny? I didn't have a bottle opener. I lost lost it for like... God, I don't know how long... You know how I've been, I've been opening like... Uh, like... Random random uh, glass bottles with a knife. I've been doing this thing with a giant steak knife. Where I've like been... I basically take it underneath the bottle cap. And I kind of... Beep, 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 beep. A little bit on the side. Constantly getting it up. Just a little bit more. And eventually, it's it's wide enough that I can just kind of pop it up. So um, that's risky. No, not really. But uh, that sounds mildly dangerous. Well, it is. But you know, I'm a professional. So how many have I broken? Zero. I, I, I'm so good, man. I bled every time. Okay. Uh, unrelated. But when I'm, I'm looking at uh, Curtis here, uh, I. I was watching a video on Norman Reedus in, in Death Stranding. If you if you zoom in on him when he's on the bed, he does certain actions, and one of them is if you stare at his dick, he punches you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? 
He sticks his tongue out and starts punching you and giving you the finger. And that, that, that gave me a really weird idea for a video game. A video game character that, like, just beats the shit out of you. <laughs> hear, hear me out. <laughs> you play as the character, but he keeps cursing at you be like, You know what? I'm not gonna jump. Fuck you. And, like, smacks you. <laughs> and you have an argument with him. <laughs> you just, you just have a, you have a fight with the, the, the player character, and it turns into like a, you become the boss. You know, every, every, every interact, it's like basically Super Mario, except it beats the shit out of you, and you, you have to like beat Mario. It's just a fighting game. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, fuck you, Mario. Okay. <laughs> it's a fourth wall breaking fight. <laughs> like, imagine you're just playing Mario and he just stops. Mario stops running left to right and jumping and he just stops and starts looking at you. Oh, that's actually creepy. <laughs> like, Mario 64. It's like, my controller isn't working. Suddenly he's just like looking at the screen and does a vibe check on you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um. Maybe it's time for my, my appointment now. I don't know. Nope, not time yet. God, it's like. Have you watched Falling Down? This is like a prequel. I love Falling Down. I really love that movie. But it's kind of a sad movie, you know. It's a very sad movie. I love the line, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good flick. You know that Iron Maiden wrote a song about it? And it's got the wor worst chorus ever. It's just, falling down, falling down, falling down. And goes on for like, no, actually, I'm talking shit. There's another song on Iron Maiden uh, that Iron Maiden made during that era, like virtual. I think it's either virtual or the X Factor. It's called The Angel and the Gambler. The Angel and the Gambler. It's the worst Iron Maiden song ever because the chorus goes on for like nine minutes. It's torture. The the song is torture. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Not not the anal and the gambler. No. Okay. Nothing I can do here yet. I think keep going going back to the restaurant because I'm kind of like desperate to like find a solution, but you know. been here. Maybe I can just find some some tool or something like that. Yeah, maybe maybe that's more of a solution here. I thought I had a wrench from before, but I guess not. See, get that, get that, get that, man. Get that. Mm, can't do that apparently. I've been there. Oh, the dang girl, my savior. Where the fuck is that every, every metal song nowadays when I'm quoting it? It has to have like a voice. And it's only funny to me. <laughs> like, it's not funny to anyone else except me. I keep doing it to like entertain myself. Oh, this day. <laughs> if I go back here and see if I can open it up again. Oh, yeah, I gotta get the key again. Sorry. Maybe it knows. Creep. Maybe something on the floor now. That's no. No, I guess not. Mm, there's absolutely nothing I could do here. Uh, oh, hang on. Maybe one of these things says something in it. I saw a ti I saw a hammer in the tiny room. The solution to the toolbox is trying to combine items to the port even like combining is a thing. Oh, really? Really now? How would that work? Yeah. Combining items? Not sure what I can do here though, but I'm seem I seem to be lacking the items anyway. 
Uh, probably need like a hammer, right? But that is a hammer, is it not? Hmm, well, if I can't find any tools here, then I'm shit out of luck here, right? Hmm. Well, somebody did mention there was something in the little room here, so maybe I can try that. Get in here. Yeah, and a hammer? Well, I'm trying to see if I can find anything here, but are you sure? Dark Seed 1 and 2 would be great. I did stream Dark Seed 1, and I kind of hated it uh, because it was like one of those uh, games that really have a bad, like, you got to do shit on a timer on a specific time, and if you do not adhere to the strict timing, uh, you get, like, game over. Game over. And that, for me, is like... See, I like games that give you infinite time, because it's almost like... Um, it's almost like you play a game, it's on your um, rules, in a way. You still gotta play the game, but it's like, when the game is also telling you, like, no, 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 you should be anxious all the time, and then I just have a feeling of, eh, I don't wanna do this. But Dead Rising is fine. Dead Rising is fine for me because Dead Rising gives you enough time to be like, oh, okay. You know. But when it's an invisible timer, that's what I'm trying to say, sorry. Dead Rising has a clear, go here, you dumb fuck. When it's like, you don't know there's a timer, that's what fucks me up. That's what I'm trying to say, you know. Um, there's nothing here either, huh? I got there, and I got here. But there, I'm supposed to get a hammer. What? Are you sure? Maybe there's a hammer here? No, 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 no. Alright, is there a... Huh? Are you sure? There's a desk at the... Oh, fuck. The hammers at home are... <laughs> I keep going back to work constantly to be like, hello? That's ridiculous. So there, there is there is a hammer here somewhere. And apparently it's on the desk? Or something? Really? Hmm. Dude, Phantasmagoras turned into like a... A real sort of like try everything approach for me, which is I guess it's a lot of how gamers play this back in the day too. But someone said check the mail. Hmm. Are you talking about this disc or? I can make him dance. Hmm. So I'm seeing the walker. Head right into the network room and look at the hidden note. Take the hammer from the desk, then head to your cubicle. From the desk? But somebody is. Oh, I <gasps> no, fuck. That's not what I'm looking for. Damn, I thought this. But this is this is a cupboard. This is a cupboard. Mm, well, if that's not where it is, then... Uh... Okay, by the way, I hope you guys know about the Homer Simpson thing. Oh, what's that again? You gotta press Alt and then, like, press it a hundred times here. Alright. Control. What's the control? What was it? Control or Alt? I, I keep forgetting. That one was good. Faster? On yourself, okay. I can't for- I don't remember how to do this, like, excuse me, but... Hmm. 
Hmm. Might be just a one thing. Okay. Hammer's supposed to be on the network room desk. Okay, so it's back and forth to getting fucking this item. Okay, yeah. Jesus. It's alt and click the door three times, I think. I tried to do that myself, but it didn't work yet. Alright, anyway, let's head back here. Joel isn't up to chapter three. The hammer may, may not be available yet. Man, that's a bit of a headache. <laughs> so the net... Th this is the network door? It's supposed to be on the desk. But that... That's the hammer. What? Hammers in chapter three. So what am I doing? Maybe you gotta go sleep. You need a button from Bob's cubicle? What? I mean, all these little weird solutions. A button? What? I don't think I can find it. Well, that's not Bob's cubicle. Hmm. No. You gotta see the doctor. Yeah, but the therapist isn't available yet. It's like, no, no, no. I'm gonna miss my appointment. Or it's like, whatever. What if I head back here? It's gonna give me shit. It's in the far corner. So this... So there's something here I gotta get. But where could that be? Hmm... Old technique. When it flashes white, I know I've hit, 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 found it. This technique never works. Actually, I think it should be on this side. Right here. Okay. Hmm. Pixel hunting. Yeah. Name of the game. Uh, am I in the right? On the shelf? What? Here? Or? <laughs> Which shelf? The next cubicle. Ah, that. Oh, no, no. Yes, you're right. You guys are right. You guys are right. Maybe. <laughs> are you? Uh, the floor? Oh, hang on. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, come on. What? What? Okay. <laughs> so what did that do? Do I combine this with the screwdriver? No, 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 no. But I don't know what that does, though. Why would I need, why would I need a button there? Good old nineties. Okay, the bottom with the the clothes you found in that box. Okay, well, I gotta see the doctor now, I guess. <laughs> this game, this game is going places, man. Okay, let's get, get let's get kicked out here. Okay, if we're not doing that, yeah, nope. Thank thank you. Oh, it was the other one. Sorry, my bad. There we go. Now we're kick getting kicked out. Now we can go home. Or rather... Now... Oh! So wait, that was the trigger to get a button and now I can see the therapist? What? 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 Damn it! What? Uh, Curtis. What? <laughs> Hello. I'm Dr. Harburg. Nice to meet you, Dr. Nice to meet you. Go ahead and have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. So, what brings you here today? Well, I, um... I've been having some trouble dealing with things lately. I guess I can't hear anything from the game now. Oh, nothing. I, I don't know where to start. That's okay. Take your time. Uh, turn the volume up. I won't say anything. That comes into your mind. Oh, okay. Well, hang on. 
uh, music block. Well, okay, well, uh, it's not enough compression on the game, but anyway, uh, do this. Give me a second. Let me do this. Okay. I uh, increased the volume a little bit for you guys. Alright. Let's go. So, talk. Look, no offense, but I am not very comfortable with this. Being here makes me feel like some kind of a wacko or something. You're not a wacko, Curtis. There's no stigma attached to analysis anymore. Your brain is just like any other part of your body, and when it isn't feeling well, not only is it okay to get help, but it's smart. I'm gonna turn up the music just a little bit more. All right. Used to wall on here, type Batman. <laughs> okay, there's a bit of a ch okay. Batman. Right. <laughs> Are you fucking with me? Take the wallet on the diploma? Oh. What that? Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> that happens much later. Not the wallet. This is oh the oh, sorry. I, wait a minute. What are you talking about? Batman. Let go of the wall first. Okay. Batman. The wall, not wallet. <laughs> what are you talking about? No wallet. Okay. Click Batman. It's later on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not sure what I should show her, but uh, hey, check this button out. This guy I work with, Bob, was murdered today. I don't mean just shot in the head either. He was, he was spread all over my cubicle. Oh my God, Curtis, how are you feeling about this? Was this the broom? I definitely have breast cancer. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything at all. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> hey, check this out. Doctor. Oh, damn, this is hard. Not long before my mother killed herself, she um, started dressing me up as a little girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty dress, pretty dress. It just doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how I dress you, you'd still be a monster. Pretty little monster. that the problem was entirely hers. You were an innocent child. Well, this got... very... Uh, to show her items, I guess? Uh, key? Dr. Harburg, I think that the uh, company that I work for is... is conducting some sort of terrible... Can you guys hear the game, by the way? Take a look at this. Okay. My father was deeply involved. I, I have to find out what the, the Threshold Project is about. Well, it's not impossible, Curtis. There have been huge corporate cover-ups over the years. 
Okay, uh, collect the plum with the... No, 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 I know, I know. It's like later. Can I show the... Oh, okay. These are my parents. Don't they look happy? I think they were happy then, but... I don't remember. It's not fair, you know? I, I don't remember any of the good stuff. I don't remember my mother ever hugging me or kissing me or just hitting me. I remember when she killed herself. years later my, my father was run down by a drunk in an old Plymouth. Oh my god, Curtis. That's a lot for anybody to deal with. You know, I, I like what it, what, what uh, chat uh, says here. Ha, funny FMV game, so silly. Yeah, it's like Sometimes on FME Friday, it's like Danny DeVito saying trash in, in the sewers. And sometimes it's like really psychological dark stuff. It's like, man, it's like, well, food analogy, I guess. But imagine going to a buffet, it's ice cream, and then it's like, you know, I don't know, <laughs> spaghetti, <laughs> you know, you know, it, it, it clashes sometimes but you know I, I like I like everything in between you know it's liver and onions this was taken at our company Christmas party I had a lot of fun that night I guess <laughs> looks like you were having fun <laughs> who are those people with you uh, it's um that's Trevor he's my best friend and that's Jocelyn she's my um He's my lover. Yeah, it's funny. I, I, I've been keeping our work, at, our relationship at work a secret. Are you in love with Jocelyn? Yeah, I think so. But I love Lisa. I'm, it's a beautiful and... Uh, I'm kind of uh, attracted to Trevor. And that worries me because I've never... I mean, I don't want to... I don't know if I should be with Jocelyn. I, I don't want to hurt her, you know? Have you spoken to Jocelyn about this? God, no. I have enough trouble opening up to her. You know, it's funny, even when we're making love, I don't feel totally close to her. I don't think I felt totally close to anyone. You know what, the, you know what I kind of hate right now? This game is really like very realistic and it's kind of it's you know very real in a way but you just know an hour from now there's going to be a big demon with horns and a mace going welcome to my mace and you're like oh, fuck like <laughs> like it's going to drop the, the the tone immediately when you see like a giant chainsaw demon and you're like, oh, oh well, was all that psychological stuff. All right. You know. Uh, let's see what else we have here. I, um, I have a date with this girl from my work tonight. Her name's Therese. And Joe for spoiler sexy. shut up. And, uh, I don't know, though. I'm feeling, feeling guilty because of my girlfriend, Jocelyn. Well, do you feel like you're betraying Jocelyn? Yeah. Well, I mean, no. I mean, okay, we, we agreed from the beginning that it wasn't exclusive, right? So I don't have any reason to be guilty at all, do I? Well, I think that's for you to decide in your own mind and in your own heart. But let me point out, however, Curtis, that, that guilt is a very, very destructive emotion. You know... 
on a real note though i will say this i will acknowledge, I will acknowledge this my favorite game series that deals with like really psychological and kind of like personal trauma stuff that's like uh really personified into like actual things is silent hill uh i didn't really grow up with like silent hill the original but like two uh it's one of those games that um because silent hill has always been like for me games about the protagonist silent hill isn't really as much as, as, as like a place it's more like a personal hell that whoever encounters it kind of like it, it creates this um environment and shit like that but um i mean after i i, I played two and i know similar vibes i guess what's going on in this game um However, what I like about Silent Hill 2 is that the themes are subtle enough that there's, there's, um, it, you don't really know what the hell it, everything is going around at sur surface level, but, you know, the more you play the game, you kind of understand it, but, um, but, you know, um, I will, I will say this, I really hope this game can, can maintain this kind of, like, dark atmosphere, because I'm a little worried that, it's gonna like shatter the tone here because I really don't want this to become like skunga gunga gung shit like that, you know. Because uh, right now, I this game actually started to invest me a little bit where I'm like, oh man, this is dark and fucked up, you know. Because the murder now, but now the, it's a little bit clear, you know. I almost didn't call you because Dr. Merrick referred me to you. He was my doctor at the hospital. Yes, I know, Curtis. Would you like to talk about your hospitalization, about Dr. Merrick? I'm not gonna ask you anything specific about your hospitalization, but could you tell me if perhaps there was one single inciting incident that, that led up to it? See, that's the thing, doctor, I, I don't... I don't know what happened, it, it, I just... One minute, I knew who I was, and then the next minute, I had no idea. It's hard to explain, but my identity just came apart, like... Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Did I just get undertailed? Or was that supposed to happen? <laughs> was that even a sanity effect? Because that scared the shit out of me. That was supposed to happen, right? That was not supposed to happen? Because that scared the Jesus out of me. That was fucked up. No, I think it crashed. Cause that was amazing! I fully expected to be like, shut the computer off now. I expected like Metal Gear Solid 2 stuff. You know? Cause I got so invested into that. And I expected like the Colonel to be like, you know, I need scissors. Like, oh my god. Okay, uh, the only problem now is. Okay, that, 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 that kind of creeped me out, man. I don't know, that that was... The game getting so real, and it dropped the sort of like, hoo-ha, gore stuff, and that suddenly like... Pew. Man, I don't know. Only problem now is that we have to start again? Uh... Which sucks, but... Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Dude, I, w I was gonna... I was gonna, like, do a joke where I p put the fucking dancing... Um, <laughs> the dancing cockroach on screen, but I'm like, dude, I, I, I don't wanna... I, I just wanna play the game. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh, okay, it started right off here. It started right off here. Seriously, I re legitimately thought that the uh, the game did that on purpose. Because the text was like a crash where it was very... It, it looked like it was a fake crash. 
Or maybe that's what it wants me to believe. And you guys are in on the fucking game because you guys have played it and not me. And you just know immediately when I start clicking again, Travis is like looking at me and be like, shut the game off. Uh, we did that one. We did that one. We did... Uh, Dr. Harburg, I think that the uh, company that I work for is... It's conducting some sort of terrible illegal experiment. Take a look at this. My father was deeply involved. I, I have to find out what the, the Threshold Project is about. Well, it's not impossible, Curtis. There have been huge corporate cover-ups over the years. Oh, okay. Look, no offense, but I am not very comfortable with this. You are clock on there. Okay. Hmm. Which one? Which, which one? What's the one that triggered the? Uh, Uh, which one was it that I did? Uh, These are my parents. Don't they look happy? I think I've seen that one. The card? Which one are you specifically referring to? Uh... Uh, that's a threshold file? Uh, the last photo. The very last one? This one? No. On the left, gotcha. So we're talking about this one. The greeting card. Or... <laughs> the, the leftmost photo of the three. So we're talking about this one. The sexy postcard? Is that the one we're talking about? <laughs> yes, alright. I, um, I have a uh, date with this girl from my work tonight. Her name's Therese. But, uh, very guys. Sexy and, uh, I don't know, though. I'm feeling, feeling guilty because of my girlfriend, Jocelyn. No, I would watch that one. I'm just gonna squ quickly see if I can. This was taken at our company Christmas party. I want to see that one. The wallet? My ID? No. Hmm. Greeting card? That one? The post it note? Smoky. So do you think that my mother dressing me like Barbie? No, I hit that one either. Um, I think I've gone ever through everyone. I think I skipped one, unfortunately. So, um, I think I got through everyone then. Sure for the badge. I almost didn't call you because Doctor Merrick referred me to you. He was my doctor at the hospital. Yes, I know, Curtis. Would you like to talk about your hospitalization, about Dr. Merrick? This I'm not going to ask you anything specific about your hospitalization, but could you tell me if perhaps there was one single inciting incident that, that led up to it? See, that's the thing, doctor. I, I don't... Ooh, I don't know what happened. It, it, it just... <laughs> One minute, I knew who I was, and then the next minute, I had no idea. It's hard to explain, but my identity just came apart like... <laughs> like old rotten lace. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna save her just in case, because I'm, I'm a little spooked at the, you know... 
Okay, now that I've got through everything here, uh, I've exhausted every single possibility. Right? Is, is, is my session over here, or...? The snow globe? What? The, the snow, snow globe? Show her the button? Oh, I think I did that already, but... Uh, on the desk. Oh, oh! Okay. I didn't see that. Sorry, I don't have cobra ice like you guys. My mother used to have a snowstorm like this. I used to think that must be what her mind looks like. All broken up. All those tiny pieces swirling around inside. She started hating me when I was about six. Get out of my sight! Wait! Oh, Curtis, that was her problem. Not yours. You were just a little boy. Well, Curtis, our session's up. Up. But I think we have a lot of work to do. How do you feel about coming back tomorrow? Oh. Okay, I guess. Wonderful. I'll see you then. All right. Thank you, Dr. Harper. You're very welcome. Have a good evening. You too. Guys, why why the hell is it that I expect her to turn, turn away <laughs> and, like, get her tongue out and she grows devil horns and be like, ah, ah, oh, like, according to plan, like, some reader repulsa shit, like, like, oh, man, it's so good, and then suddenly, uh-oh. He winks at the camera. Blink. All right. Well, can I go to the uh, this place now? Get out of here! Ah yes. Ah yes. Atmosphere. Yes. I was just talking about this. Hold it. This is a private club. You have to know someone to get in. Okay. This is the place that. The other girl told me to go to, or, uh... I know Therese Banning. She asked me to meet her here. So you know her name. Big freaking deal. Doesn't mean she invited you. Swearing. Well, buddy, I have... a screwdriver! <laughs> okay. You want a button? Hmm... <laughs> now it's real turn to see our game. If I show him a photo... Oh. Therese gave this to me, see? Yeah, okay. Come on in. What the fuck? Don't get yourself what the there. fuck? Oh, God damn it. Ah! I hear 90s orchestral stabs. Oh no! I've entered the Rob Zombie Club! Scared on my waist and the skirt on my duxes. Oh my regular. It's like the, the that shit in the in the Matrix, you know? Du hast, du hast mich. Nine. Okay. Well, this this is this is <laughs> the mood is completely fucked now. Okay. <laughs> Joel nipple incoming. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, excuse me. Could you tell me um, if you want to play? I could make you scream with pleasure. Hello, everybody. Okay. Welcome back to my Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines playthrough. <sighs> Amateurs. I am impl I'll be playing as uh, the Ma Malkavian. <laughs> you know. 
what, what, what's that one song uh, from Vampire the Masquerade in, in the club that keeps playing? I so made it. Yeah, that, that's the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that fucking dance they're doing. Yeah. Okay, uh... This is the comedy club, right? Welcome to the lodge. Oh wait, wrong game. Get away from there. You have no business going into the pit. The pit. <laughs> okay. It's like... Feels like I'm playing like a live-action Deus Ex game. Welcome to the pit. Okay. <laughs> Is that Kevin Smith? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, you know, I don't really... I, I'm not, like, a huge fan of Kevin Smith, but that guy is the best storyteller I've ever heard. When he talks about meeting Prince, or, like, making a script for, like, Superman Returns, it's the funniest fucking thing. You know. Missing Giant Jorts. Not him. Is, is the... Uh, they may, they're making a Silent Bob... Uh, Jay and Silent Bob remake, right? Or something like that. I mean, I'm just not super into those movies, but like they're making some sort of remake. Yeah. Jo Kevin Smith is good at telling long wind winded stories, so he's like the opposite of me. Like when I tell you guys stories, it's like, and then, and then I bled all over my lasagna, and it goes over 25 minutes. You're like, shut the fuck up already. Guys, why, why am I here again? I gotta be honest. Hello. I've entered the internet! Get out, quick! Okay. <laughs> Turn the game off. Okay. Got seriously, what the hell is going on? Here's what I'm gonna do. Hello, I'm five years old. Who is this Vogue Skeletor? Sounds really family friendly. Okay. That was sex too. Yeah, what to this like uh, Matrix Club? All I did was, I was sweaty, and I was awkward. Goodbye! <laughs> was, was that all I had to do? No, 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 no I, I, I clearly missed something. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're not going back in there again. I'm not going to the band zone. Is that another electrical chair? Okay, I'm gonna tell you something that just happened in my brain. Uh, speaking of brain, so there's this some kind of monster EP by Metallica, and it it contains these uh, 2003 e live. Uh, this has a point. In, from like 2003 in France when they were playing and James Setfield, this is one of those moments that just I think is funny uh, They're playing Ride the Lightning and James Setfield forget, forgets the lyrics and he flubs up and trips over the words and I swear to God he sings Sweet chilling come and I was gung -a gung I forgot the fucking words He sings that You know what I'm talking about? Sweet chilling come and yeah yeah Skunga dunga you know what I'm talking about here? Hang on. I, I know it's like, play the fucking game, but... I, I need closure on this, uh, that I'm not crazy. Hang on. Metallica... Some kind... Right... <laughs> Lightning... 2003... <laughs> Fuck, there it is! Fuck! 
<laughs> there it is! Holy shit, it's been years I heard that. Hello, it's a schooly boop. Blay. I forgot the fucking words. <laughs> Caught stealing cum. Caught stealing cum? Okay, well, uh. Damn, James. Okay. The fuck you was. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> there you go. See, that's that that's that's how my brain works. That's how my goddamn brain brain works. It's like I, I'm playing Phantasmagoria. I see a electrical chair. I think of Metallica, Ride the Lightning, and I think of James Hetfield stealing cum. Forgot the fucking words. Okay. New guy. Man, as a Metallica fan, I can say that between 2003 to like 2007, James sounded so shitty. I don't know what the fuck happened. In 2008, he became great at singing again. Like he was doing this yodeling thing for a while, going. And I hated it. I really hated it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He forgot the fucking words. I'm glad you came. Welcome back to American Yakuza. Now we'll be checking out the dating mini game. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so. Uh. Button. <laughs> I don't. Know, I don't know what I'm doing. Just talk to her, maybe. <laughs> what kind of a club is this, anyway? Well, look at me, it's Travis. Club, Curtis. Curtis. Do you need a drink to cope with the ugly truth? No, thanks. <laughs> I find this pretty intriguing. Oh, it gets better, baby. Ah. Uh, what? It's fucking music, man. It's it sounds like a Nintendo 64 fighting game. <laughs> like I can't stand it. Listen, like, I have to tell you something. Jocelyn and I are pretty serious about each other, and uh, you know what? I don't really care. Do you think you're the only one I'm seeing? You know, I used to bring her along sometimes. She's pretty cute. Bruh. Bruh. What, what's that? What's that quote from uh, the room? Uh, where, 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 where Tommy's going? To scrape through a crowd. <laughs> Whatever. I love my Lisa. No. Truth. I'm not being judgmental or anything. Yet. Hey. Can I have a red shiny rubber? Why are you talking to me? I just don't understand why people need to feel pain to have fun. Have you ever been whipped, Curtis? Have you ever been oiled down in candlelight and beaten with silk straps? No. Cock and ball torture. CBT. I know. Sensual pain isn't like hitting your finger with a hammer. I need George to cater like sliding your oh my. <laughs> oh my. Ball stretcher.
Okay. Uh, what's Wesker doing in here? <laughs> Welcome, Chris. Welcome to my fuck dungeon. <laughs> okay, well, uh... Oh, what the hell, it won't kill me. I hope. That wasn't so bad, was it? Uh-oh. It was poison. Uh-oh. Good evening. Who wants it? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> oh, no. My friend here does. What? No. Don't you I don't like this. Sure. Why not? Oh no. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Caught stealing, come. I forgot the fucking words. But wait, 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 wait. I thought I was on the, the, telling jokes on the microphone. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Listen, I, I will not. No, no, hell. Hey, hey now. Testicle cough. Fisting is 300 bucks. What is happening to me? What, what, what are they doing? What, what is happening? Sorry, what the fuck? Is what am I? What? What am I watching? I'm very uncomfortable right now. I don't like this. No, 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 no. I mean, if I thought this game was a nightmare before, then. Whew. Congratulations, man! You're pierced. Ugh. Just imagine if I like lined up Hello Kitty or something like this after the stream. Okay, listen, I, I I have this game locked in right now, so I'm gonna have to do this on my phone. Fuck, I wish I had Alex or something. No no no. Quick phone! Phone! Speed up! Fuck! I need I need Wesley Willis right now! Phone! Play Wesley Willis! Phone! Quicker! Quicker! No! Qu Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! God damn it! No! 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 Guys, hide the screen! Oh, it's over. Okay. Oh, well, that Thank you, piece of shit phone. <laughs> oh my god. god my, 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 my goddamn phone broke. I told it to play Wesley Willis and now I just like, it's now it just, it just, it just died. <laughs> phone? Oh, okay, it's too late. Phone's dead. This is really turning into a nightmare, isn't it? Well, welcome to Phantasmagoria 2. Um, it's been a uncomfortable, weird ride, and uh, I 
I would like to go off now. I would like to. You know, you know when you appreciate really cute games? Like, just, you know, uh... Pet, 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 pet cats and, and Nintendo. I want to play Nintendogs after this. YouTube is not responding. Do you want to close it? No, let's wait. So what the hell was blocking? Oh, I, I see what was blocking. It was Good Mythical Morning, everybody. New one, girl. <laughs> and I agree with that. It's the worst one. Sorry, Marie. Right, Sorry, they're eating Stouffer's Thanksgiving dinner. That's why. Moshi mosh. Okay. <laughs> Answer the phone. Sorry. It's been a bit of a shit show tonight. Hello. Hello. Curtis, my boy. My boy! Work. Mr. Warner, right? Well, I, I thought that after Bob and all that we wouldn't... Well, you thought wrong, Curtis. Get those lazy bones on in here. Man, what the hell happened last night? <laughs> Cousin, let's, let's go bowling. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about the most awkward game ever, and it's GTA 4. No game has ever given me such social anxiety and, like, uncomfortableness than... ...pretending to not answer the phone because you don't want to hang out with friends. Like, I... I couldn't believe how awkward that, that got. Like, when I was running over Grandma... ...it was like, you know, you have to pick between the two dudes. It's Playboy X and the other guy, right? What, what was his name? Um, Dwayne, yes. Dwayne in that game was the most awkward thing ever. Because I hated hanging out with Roman and everybody else. So, he here's how fucked up this got, right? You can b pick between these two dudes. Playboy X is like an asshole or whatever. If you kill him, you get his apartment, which is huge. But you get a f new friend called Dwayne. And Dwayne is like sad and he just wants a friend and to hang out and at first I'm like okay I can hang out with him except he calls you all the time and he's like hey man you want to go bowling and you're like sorry bro I need to do uh, missions and he goes that's cool man maybe some other time all right I'd love to hang out all right it's just like it's just like a friend man I just like to hang out with you man I, I'm not doing so good Oh, sorry, bro, I need to uh, steal a helicopter, bye! And it's like... Uh, 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 and it's... I swear to God, there's... There's a thing where he says, like... This is the most awkward... This is like... It's, it's embarrassing to listen to. But if you... If you... Hang up on it too many times... I swear to God, this might be a Mandela effect. But he calls you... And he confuses, uh, he intentionally confuses and saying like, Oh, thanks for calling me. And, and Nico goes, No, sorry, I didn't call you. You called me. And he's like, Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Is, yeah. Bye. <laughs> I wanted to shut the phone completely off in that game. It's just, oh, oh, it happens. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh. I need like a shower after this. Oh, not because of Phantasmagoria, but just thinking about like, like there's nothing more more punishing for me than like Animal Crossing and GTA 4's um, phone system. It's never been more uncomfortable. Like, just leave me alone! It's like cockroaches all over my body and bugs just gonna uh, rip off my skin. Ah! Uh! Fuck! Ah! Ah! Sorry, I'm just, I just get, my skin's creeping, you know? Ah! <laughs> That's how much of an introvert I am. When fucking video games make me go... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
The skeleton wants out. <laughs> you hate people that much? No, 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 no. I don't hate people. I used to, I don't want to mingle with people. I want to. I want to watch Star Trek and eat chips. <laughs> I don't, don't want to go out on social gatherings. Ugh. <laughs> he hates us. I don't care about your productivity, Mr. Warner. You had no right to destroy evidence. I have every right to make this work environment safe and pleasant for my employees. Detective. This investigation would have been over in a matter of days. As it stands, your little redecorating spree may have caused you an obstruction of justice. Would you job. mind if we took this discussion to my office, Detective Powell? Fine. She was she was here all along. Just Man, take a break. Okay. Hey. Blob. Blob. That's a name. You know, I, I just I just want I just want a sound tail too, dog ending. It was me all along. I pulled all the strings. And you fell right into the trap. You Nico Poop. <laughs> Welcome to my hell. Okay. Okay, oh boy. Booba. Booba. <laughs> it was me all along, Austin. <laughs> it was me. My God. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Can I call myself? Let's call myself and see if, like, my, my clone appears or whatever. Hello, this is Curtis Craig, and I'm... Hello, Curtis. Knew it. Who is this? Sorry, man, I can't talk right now. I'm right in the middle of disemboweling somebody. Right. what I'm gonna do but let's see here uh, obviously got to do something here okay sorry to bother myself <laughs> it was bloop <laughs> king ass ripper shut up <laughs> okay but hang on I, I don't know what the hell I expected but Call my boss. Terrible idea. Yeah, this is what I need. A friendly conversation with Paul. Pool. You guys ready to skunga dunga? Joe, well, I just got a WWE advertisement for watching your stream. Guys, I, at some point, I just realized that wrestling nowadays is so boring because there's no gimmicks anymore. Like, w what is Batista's gimmick? What's, what's like, Roman Reigns' gimmick? Like, bring back the 90s when it was just like, I'm the barber! I'm, I'm the lizard! Sh shit, I love that. You know. John Cena's like a rapper, maybe. Yeah, but, you know. The Shockmaster. I I don't know if somebody misspelled this or did it intentionally. I can't tell with you guys anymore. But somebody just went, "Okay, boner." <laughs> <laughs> okay, boner. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna call every number on here. Uh, six one two five. Six one two five. Hey, bud. What's up, weasel boy? Oh, nothing much. I'm just sitting here two feet away from a murder site trying to be a productive little worker. Harsh. Hang in there, man. I'm doing my best. D 
Now, guys, I think I'm going insane because I just saw I just saw Curtis's face flash purple for a frame. Or did I just completely lose it? <laughs> um, I have to like rewind the vod here, clip it. You're losing it. I saw it. You guys saw it too. Sanity effects in real life. Have I tried sleeping? Slepen? Okay. Clip it quick. Cause here's the- I'm looking at two monitors. I, I, I don't know, man. We just couldn't see it on because of the frame rate. He gla his glasses were flashing. Okay. Listen, listen, I'm just gonna say that that, that it's a sanity effect, right? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Alright, uh Jocelyn. Alright. This is Jocelyn. Hi, baby. How are you today? I'm... I'm okay, Curtis. I'm still upset about Bob, you know? I know, Joss. Me too. Wish I could make it better. Well, thanks, baby. Alright. Tom. Did I get any sand effects IRL during the Best of Us 2 marathon? You know what is a really weird thing? Sometimes when I set myself up to do Desert Bus challenges, it's the most grueling task ever. But what when sometimes I just do something that I really enjoy, like Dwarf Fortress, I can go for like 15 hours and be like, oh yeah, by the way guys, I gotta go get, get some food. Like when I when I wanna do something, it's like challenge but when I'm like just crack my knuckles and be like eh. it's not even a challenge and it's like we don't even acknowledge it that what about that 3d move maker thing yeah but by the way I did a really funny edit on uh, on uh, that's not really funny but the full stream channel the 3d move maker was was actually supposed to be uh, uh, 12 hours but I cut it down to 10 because there's a huge section where we just while well, uh, we were wrestling back and forth getting the models right for the blue shell and I, I decided just fucking surgically cut that shit out. So it's, for one second I go, does anybody know any blue shells? And it's like a second later I'm like, oh, I found one. <laughs> so I cut all that shit, because I thought it was just going to be boring for you guys to like listen to it and post to me like, you know. You know. Anyway, let's see here. Um, Therese. 338. Um, Therese speaking. Hi, Therese. Well, if it isn't my slave. Bruh. You were really good last night, baby. You're quite an actor, you know that? Thanks. Curtis, if you let me, I'll take you on erotic adventures you've never even imagined. A blowjob on a roller coaster. Hmm. <laughs> a blower coaster. Hmm. <laughs> hey, you guys, remember when this game was was, was creepy? And now the the mood is ruined because I I can't shut my 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 dumb mouth. <laughs> okay. Uh, did I... Did I call Bob? Hang on. You murdered me. <laughs> okay. But who? was the phone. This is Curtis. Don't hang up on me, you murdering psycho son of a bitch! <laughs> okay. 
Now I'm gonna pick up the phone again, and it's gonna be Dwayne saying, "Hey man, you wanna you wanna hang out?" I just shut the phone down and go, ah! "Oh, oh, 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 nay, nay, it's the end, nay." <laughs> okay, Paul. Hmm. Well, I think I think I might be done here. I'm not sure, but uh, you know, wind tech. Uh, all right. Um. What time is it? Oh, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Well, tell you what. I'd really like to do some more Phantasmagoria tonight. Because, you know, jokes aside, uh, I think that the game is really starting to pull me in. Because I started this off, and I thought it was kind of just kind of a bit of a mess. You know, it was just... I didn't feel the same vibe I got from Phantasmagoria 1. Phantasmagoria 1 really, like, drew me in. But finally this game is, is starting to pull me in a little bit. Because, uh, you know, I... I thought, when you got to the therapist, it started to get, like, good, you know, because it, it gave some actual character to to, uh, to Curtis, and I thought, you know, okay, but, you know, the game, the game has a bit of a 90s Gorgonzola thing going on for it, which I guess adds to the charm a little bit, but, you know, I, I hope the game can retain its creepy, creepy, creepiness with the, uh, I, I wouldn't say creepy, uh, there's more so a, uh, uh, a little bit of a weird atmosphere that's that's seeping through in the game, and I, I hope it it keeps going here because I think I think Phantasmagoria 2 is great, but um, if it goes and gets better, it's even more of a better game because I still prefer Phantasmagoria 1 at the moment, uh, but we'll see what develops from this game. But it's got a creepy atmosphere, and I enjoy it, and I also enjoy that it's got a little bit of what I initially loved about Harvester. It's this nightmarish world, and it's. It's fun to uh, to play, but club part feels like I want to take a shower, man. You know. Okay, boner. It's a rising tension for sure. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, I think I'm gonna call it here for tonight. I might do a little bonus tomorrow. Um, we'll see. Maybe this could replace Spooky Saturday, but there will be an actual spooky game tomorrow. Which, you know, the game is getting a little, a little scary. I feel this this game is less scary. It's more so... Makes you feel like have bugs all over you. You're like, oof. You know. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it here. Now, uh... Now, I'm gonna to you guys while I was doing this. Just to show you what... How invested this game got me. I've been I've been feeling shit all night because my blood sugar used to hit the fucking floor, but I committed to it and I said I'm still gonna stream. I'm still gonna do Phantasmagoria too, but I've been internally feeling like dog shit and um, I gotta get some food in me. I usually don't cl complain about you know shit like that, but um, you know I, I felt that I haven't streamed in a couple of days and I felt I I just needed to like crack my knuckles and say fucking do it anyway. Uh, I was I was not gonna do Phantasmagoria tonight, but I knew it was gonna be a case of oh god, da god damn it, you always fucking do it already. You put it in, you put it on the Twitter and ticker, you just fucking do it, and I, I did. Not not to say that I didn't have fun doing it, but uh, you know I I I, I uh, committed to it, even though I shouldn't because now it's four a.m. But hey, um. Th that it doesn't say that I, I I was like suffering throughout the stream, but I'm saying like, you know, I I uh, I, uh, I pulled a little extra weight, <laughs> you know. But uh, now here's Hello Kitty, everybody. <laughs> no, but uh, here's the thing though: we have a big art section that I have uh, kind of neglected in a way because it's just been like uh, it's been late during the Euro time streams and stuff like that. So here's what I do. Uh, like I did during the signal simulator leftover stuff, I'm gonna start tomorrow's stream with a big art section, which uh, I, I'm happy that you guys stick around for because usually when I do art, people kind of start to leave. But tomorrow I'm gonna start with the art instead because there's five, four pages I want to get through. So I'm gonna say uh, that's pretty much it for Phantasmagoria tonight, and I want to thank you for watching uh, the other stuff we did with the Thanksgiving stuff. It was a lot of fun. Uh, now there's broken glass all over the floor because I did a stupid gag joke, so hey, whatever. But uh, for now, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to be seeing who's live on Vine Sauce right now so I can go host them. And uh, I also want to apologize really quickly because of the uh, the Sims 4 finale. I know you guys have been watching 
intently for that every day and uh, it hasn't happened because like primarily two things one there's a really dumb update that keeps like maybe breaking the game I think and two I want to make this season one finale really good and I also don't want to like uh, commit to an idea that I don't feel like works in the long run so um, I, I say finale because it's like a season one finale because it's, it's just wrapping up with a lot of characters and stuff like that and I want to make it good so, you know, insert me a moto quote here about uh, rushed game or something like that, right? But um, yeah, yeah, you know what? All right. Well, anyway, there'll be a season two. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, right now though, I'm gonna get myself a glass of orange juice because I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> So, anyway, I'm going to see a slot on my so I can go host them. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed the stream tonight. It was a lot of fun. And I will see you tomorrow. Actually, uh, you know what I'm going to host? I'm going to host Mac Mate because he's playing around with a VR set playing Zelda. And that seems pretty fun. So, uh, see you soon. Tip of the day is... Uh, tip of the day is just to, be, to buy some freezer bags. Because, uh, you know, when I first moved out, I didn't even know about Frostbite. So, uh... Make sure you have enough Ziploc frozen bags. Because, let me tell you something. Even when you have a broccoli bag that in your freezer and you open it up. And then you do that like double wrap thing where the, like, it, it sits where the exit hole is. Exit, you know what I'm talking about. You know. No. The moment you open that bag, you have to put all of its contents into a freezer bag. Because just a little bit of, 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 of a hole on the freezer um, or on the, the bag or whatever you have. It's going to get frostbite on. It doesn't matter how wrapped up it is. You need to get it into a fr freezer bag. And it makes the shit taste awful. So uh, get get yourself some cheapo freezer bags. Fr fr freezer bags? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Seriously, my dad didn't even know about freezer burn. And I had to tell him about... Oh, there's a word for it. It's like, what does my frozen food taste like shit? <laughs> I'm like, because freezer burn. It's like, what's that? I'm like, well, you know how it tastes off? It's like, yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you about fr fro frozen bags. Oh, neat. He, he didn't know about it. And, uh, yeah. Uh, another tip of the day. Uh, orange juice is good if you're a diabetic. If you don't drink enough orange juice, die. <laughs> All right, enjoy, Mike. Peace out. Thanks for watching a lot. And uh, you know, on a corny side note, I don't know. You know, I, I I take the piss out of a lot of American holidays and all that. But you know, if there's one thing I can say about Thanksgiving, you know, I I don't fully understand the concept. It's a family get together thing. You eat a lot of turkey and all that. But I know the core concept of like Thanksgiving is to say thanks. Uh, I guess it's a little spiel I'll do at the, at the end of the stream. But you know, I'm not an American, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a dumbass Swede, but, you know, the, the idea of saying thanks, uh, I will just acknowledge this and say this, uh, and I haven't been streaming a couple of days, but you guys are still here for the streams, I really appreciate you guys sticking around, uh, my streams isn't always the greatest, they're kind of juvenile, silly, and shitty, uh, but it's kind of, it's kind of just me playing around and having fun, and I appreciate you guys, um, you know, even though I'm not, you know, funniest guy around nor do i pretend i am um you know i you know you guys are still here and enjoying my shitty streams and i appreciate that so you know but uh there's far better streamers out there that do a way better job they can do all the be better stuff than i can't do and uh, i always say that you know i do not deserve any sort of uh, monetary stuff you guys give me with the sub sub subscriber stuff or you know and the the twitch bits that was forced on my channel i also say do not do not use that stuff and i i also i respect that you guys have uh not used it because i don't want that i really really don't want that um and i see a lot of subscribers donation stuff you know i don't acknowledge it unless it's like an extreme amount uh, but, uh, you know, never do you need to give me any sort of money. The viewership is enough. So, uh, I want to just uh, give you guys a little, 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 you know, thumbs up saying, you know, thanks for sticking around and, and all that stuff. You guys, you guys are really incredible. Uh, I do not deserve, uh, the amount of love and support you guys give me because I'm lazy 
and uh, I could do a fa far better job, but you guys still still support me, and uh, you guys are the world to me. So, uh, insert insert fart joke here to like make it less awkward. So, uh. All right. Um. Bye bye. See you soon. Rock and roll French fries. Rock and roll. Good night. And you're Mike Matei. Peace. And taters. <laughs>